Oh, the heart candy. Got a lot of little emotions I'm gonna have to give there. Didn't realize I had a lot of them. But how? My, my heart? Cutscene. Cowboy. Oh Your Highness, so you're back with us. I spoke so harshly to to you just now. Can can you find it in your heart to forgive me? Rahaha! <laughs> Think nothing of it. Twas a pleasure to uh, to hear such rough and ready words from the mouth of a noble born lady. Pray do not mock me, Coldplay. I'm just glad Queen Clune's not broken out it anymore. Oh, wait, right. that was Oliver saying that. I thought that was a. Uh, too right, and I must say I'm impressed with old pirate face here. That's two servings of his heart we've helped ourselves to now. Heh, <laughs> you're right. Seems as <clears throat> seems as if he his love for the love for the queen is a bit special. You you can call me queen. I am unworthy of such a title. You call me queen, I am worthy of such a title as this. The Skyborn Kingdom of Xanadu was torn from the heavens and cast into distant o ocean. I could not protect my realm. And then I came to this town and broke the hearts of its people. Truly I am no queen. But your highness, you shouldn't be so hot on yourself. Listen to me, the people of Xanadu saw you as a wise and just ruler. You carried out your duties, both as a queen and as a sage and trained countless wizards. Have you forgotten all of all of the good you have done? Kublai, what, what you say may be true, but it does not excuse my harm I have caused. I have inflicted so much suffering. Your Highness, we've met, met the ghost of a lady in Hamlin, a soldier who once served you. She was one who, she was one of the people who died in Xanadu. And she told us that uh, <clears throat> she told us a so a so long story as Queen Kulin was alive. There was a there was hope for her people. She spoke of she spoke of me. She spoke of hope. Hope. Uh, and you and look around you. The people of my of this town may be brokenhearted, but at least they are alive. Oh, well, that was Koblik saying that. Xanadu being guard, whatever it is. <laughs> Your Highness, let us return this town to its former self. It may take time, but I know you can do it. You may, you may, you you may, <clears throat> may not be a queen any longer, but we, but we still stand beside you. You are not alone, and who, <clears throat> who's to say you can't rebuild Xanadu? Oh, Cobbler, thank you. Thank you, everyone. You are right. I cannot give in to my despair. I must become someone to, someone who can inspire hope in others. That is my duty. You aren't, you aren't the only sage who can who <clears throat> who was led astray. My father and Marcuson suffered too. Yes, and Oliver helped them, helped them just uh, like he like he helped you. And now you're all fighting. Now you're all fighting fit. The battle against evil can finally begin in earnest. Wait a minute. There's something I've been dying to ask. I need to know. How long has something been going on between Queen Cullboy? Uh, I mean, Queen Kulan and Cullboy. I mean, a queen and a sky pirate. It's so romantic. Oh, God. Do you have? Do you have to be so nosy? Kublai is known as a feared, as a, is known and feared as the king of the sky parts, but there is more to him than just meets the eye, or whatever. Ah, quite right. I am a man of many talents, and being f the fearless leader of a band of sky, s of swashbuckling sky pirates is just one of them. Kublai also served as the commander of the Zunduvian Airborne Division, <laughs> and which a uh, which is a role of the f which is in which the role he fought for Queen Kulan. 
Avas, I can speak for myself, you slack-jawed cur. <laughs> you were a commander in Xanadu? Indeed he was. Since time, since the time of the Wizard Wars. The time of the Wizard Wars, really? I, I didn't know, I guess. Wizard Wars. Xanadu has avoided conflict. But neutrality cannot be maintained without the significant military power Cowboy's forces formed part, form part of that power. Oh, I get it. The lowly servant who ended up falling head over heels in love with the queen. That's a classic. Swain! Do you always have to be so blunt? Ha 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 ha. But it is true. I've watched over her since... I was but a since she was but since I was but a little girl. That'd been funny, <laughs> and I can't say I don't feel for her, but I am I am a mere soldier, and there's there's not can, there's not can be done about that. Gee, that must be tough. But that was then. Things have changed. Changed. Changed how exactly? Did you not hear my words earlier? I am a queen no longer. There is, there are no ranks uh, or barriers kept, <laughs> kept, uh, kept between us. Whatever. C can it be? Do you truly mean? I have been, qu I have been quite clear. Please do not make me spell it out. I, uh, uh shit. Come on, color boy. Don't be, no, don't, don't be so slow. Flipping Hetman, put put this, <clears throat> put us out of our misery, won't you? How how many times are we going to have to make our poor man, poor woman say it? Still, your chattering tongues, still your chattering tongues are all cut them off. You 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 stand before the king of the sky pirates. Ah, all right, all right. Cutscene, right? Cutscene, right? Oh, okay. No cutscene. Ah, the cheese. You can smell it. And it smells like farts. Oh, wait, that was me. The hearts of the people in Perduria has been destroyed. Oh, I thought I was going to have to do all that myself. <laughs> oh, okay. Young Nina, you must, you must have been terribly afraid. I apologize most humbly for my actions. Don't worry, Queen Cowboy. I am happy. I am happy that you have become uh, so kind and gentle. Everything in Perdita, whatever, is not so bright and happy. Is so bright and happy now. We will never give in to Shadar. Your words are music to my ears. Truly, children like you are bearers of hope, the hope of a brighter future. We who are old enough to know better to choose a path of of cowardice. Okay. Oh, I just ready myself for a burp. All we wanted was to be free of fear, to be protected from the truth. Well, that's done and done. What's done and done. What's done is done. Ah, and all that. I hope the the Rather Shada is still is not still hanging about, waiting to pounce like. I know what I must do. My duty is to protect the people of Pedrija from Shadar. I have vowed to never let this dark despair engulf this town again. I will make amends for what I have done. Grazie, your highness. Grazie? Is that French? What the fuck? <laughs> then it seems I have no choice. I'll throw my lot in with, lot with you, your highness. We'll protect this puny village together. No, cowboy. There are other duties in to which you must attend. It is not only the town, this town of, this town that must be protected from the dark, dark pall, the dark pall of Shadar's despair. With your airship, you may you may travel freely around our world. Do you understand what it is I ask of you? Ah, I do. Uh, I do, at that, only too well. 
No, but you only just got, only just got together. Cowboy, though we may be apart, we will always be together, as long as we share the same goal. Ha ha ha! You are not wrong, your highness. You always did have a way with words. Gah, like everything, like everything's worked out then. Oh, but before I forget, there was a reason why we came here, in the middle of nowhere. I'm aware of this. It, con it concerns Mornstar, does it not? Yes, we're trying to restore its power. We did manage to find the three magic stones, but even Moccasin couldn't re reunite them with the wand. It was beyond Moccasin's power, you say? How could that be? Tell me more. Cutscene. Oh, brief. Crossfade solved everything, like everything always does. Good thing I didn't have to read all that. Well, he speculated that it might be because we brought Mornstar here from the past. Hmm. Uh, a masked wizard who can manipulate time itself. I am most curious to uh, curious as what his intentions could be. But I shall ponder that to my in my ponder that at my leisure. Our priority is to put a stop to Shadar's plans. I will perform the required ritual without delay. Tidy, that sounds like the old Kulan knows knows what's what to do. Needs doing that get that Mornstar back in one piece. There's handy. Now, young Oliver, I shall require some assistance in undertaking in this undertaking. Are you willing to help me? Sure, Queen Kulen. Just tell me what I have to do. Fine response. The ritual must be performed outside. When you are ready, come and see me. I shall be waiting. Then I should open this chest. Uh, where is the exit? Oh, there it is. Where the fuck do I get out of here? I'm lost. There's a bunch of shit I can do here, but I'm gonna get Mornstar fixed. I heal myself, but jeez, I'm all kinds of fucked up. Better save. Get this, right? Carnation cake? Yeah. It sure certainly is. There's still a lot of side quests I have to do, jeez. And I'm gonna get more. Yeah, save. Get more and start. I'm just, just being safe because I'm all kinds of fucked up. Then I'll probably hit the inn. So at least have to hit the inn one place at a time. Begin, begin the ceremony? Yes. Oh, sure. Ready when you are, your highness. My magic's low, though, but I can do this. Do a reuniting ritual. Oliver, do you know the spell named Rejuvenate? Sure I do. It turns back the clock on for objects to before when they were old and broken. Well, it is the memory retained within the objects of what's being revived. That's being revived. The only spell breach time allows the only spell breach time allows time itself to be manipulated now I believe that rejuvenate should be able to restore the magic stones to the state they were 15 years ago oh I get it that that way they'll be the same as Mornstar from 15 years ago huh indeed I will need to combine the spell rejuvenate with the ritual required to re to reunite the stones with Mornstar. Flipping heck, that would have been a, that would have been a bit of a stretch even for you, your highness. Heavenliness. <laughs> it would not it will not be easy, but I and I understand why Moccasin balked balked at the challenge, but I believe I can do this for you. Thank you, your highness. Now, without further ado, let the ritual commence. Rejuvenate! <laughs> Little orbs! Full of pearls. 
We've obtained Morningstar uh, again. <laughs> the ritual is complete. What you now hold is Mar Morningstar in its true form. Please consult your wizard's companion and wand's power restored in new pages with new spells for you to use. Healing hand. Oh, a stronger heal. Healing touch and healing hand. Yeah. All five indexes are put into it. For Fortune's Fool spell. Whatever that is. Unleash! What the fuck's that? Jeepers, these spells look so neat! The spell known as Unleash will prove very useful to you, I am certain. Doubtless I, you have done battle with those creatures known as Guardians. Those poor hearts have been broken by Shadar. When you defeated them, you received certain gemstones, did you not? That's right, they dropped big jewels, ain't it, Ollie boy? The gems and the symbols of the Guardians' gratitude and contain a part of their spiritual spirit and life force. Jeepers. Jeepers creepers! By using Unleash, you can channel the energies which, which, re, which reside in the gems and call upon the Guardians' strength in battle. So it's a summoning. Cool. With their power as you command, you will be able to hold your own against Shadar. Thank you, Your Highness. That sounds like it will come in real handy. <laughs> that doesn't sound a bit too shabby, does it, Oliver? Shadar will be quacking in his boots. You are now better equipped to face Shadar in battle. But a serious obstacle stands between you and any such encounter. Oh? What a flippin' what a flip where do, here we flip and go. What what is what is it this time? Shadar dwells within the castle of Nevermore. Secret of Nevermore. Hmm. It lies it lies to it lies to the north of here, beyond the miasma marshes. Should a careless traveler be engulfed in the dark miasma, for which is the marshes are known, they will be forever lost. Uh, wait a second. The Miasma Marshes? I... I... What? What is it, Esther? Have you heard of them? It's something my father once spoke of. He told me of the mist that was so dark no light could ever penetrate it. The, the Miasma. He said the only way to clear it is, the, <clears throat> is with the call of the... Of the Clarion? What the fuck? Clarion? The Clarion. I remember you saying that. <clears throat> I remember you saying that we'd be the ones to play it again, Esther. Yes, the Clarion is a symbol of peace that was created by the three kings of this world. Ugh. Now, 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 what was the rhyme? In Ding Dong Dell, they carve a full well and <clears throat> fell full, a full well that, that old Mamuni. What the fuck? Old my money woody wood I <laughs> old my money woody. I'm trying to rhyme it in words that won't make sense. And Barrett and Barrett and then Hamlin make it so good or whatever. I'm so impressed by your knowledge, Esther. But then you are a daughter of a great sage. Oh, it's just a rhyme I learned when I was little. So if we give this clarion to a good give this clarion a good ho honk, eh, it will clear a path across my eyes Martians, will it? That is correct, and the first thing you require to make the clarion is the holy wood. Holy wood, <laughs> really? Holy wood, uh, and <clears throat> and old mamuni wood. Mamuni wood, old mamuni. This is. I, I better stop it. <laughs> I think this. It's time we paid Califia, the Califia a visit. Okay, more stars repaired, and I can open chests. And I'm dying. But, oh. Wonder Wand. 